Hello, and welcome back to Species Spotlight. This week, I wanted to highlight a bird that is strikingly beautiful year-round, the eastern bluebird. Eastern bluebirds are members of the thrush family and are found throughout the eastern United States in habitats such as fields, forest edges, pastures, and even backyards. Bluebirds are about 6 to 8 inches long, have a wingspan of 9 to 12 inches, and weigh about 1 ounce. In the wild, bluebirds can have a lifespan of 6 to 10 years. Males can be identified by their bright blue feathers on the top of their head that go all the way down to their tail, and they also have a reddish-orange throat and breast and a white underside. While the female sports the same colors, they are much duller to blend in with their environments better. Eastern bluebirds are omnivorous, feeding on berries and a wide variety of insects such as crickets, grasshoppers, beetles, spiders, worms, and even snails. Before pesticides were commonly used, many farmers would put up bluebird houses near their crops to have the bluebirds act as a natural pest control. Nesting season for the bluebirds start in mid-spring and can last throughout the summer. Eastern bluebirds are very territorial and will build their nests in cavities such as old woodpecker holes or even boxes that are put up by bird enthusiasts. Females can lay three to eight pale blue eggs at one time and will incubate them alone. As the female sits on the eggs, the male bluebird is responsible for gathering food. You will usually see the male bluebird hanging around the nesting area close by, checking in on the female every now and again to bring in some food. Within two weeks, the eggs will hatch. Chicks are ready to leave the nest within 20 days of hatching. If the bluebird pair nested early on in the season, there is a chance they could nest again, and one of the bluebird chicks usually stays back to help out the parents with the next brood. There are multiple nest boxes placed in our park system, and most have seen bluebird activity. If you are out at Boundary Creek, Longbridge, Pennington, or Smithville Park, take a look at the nest boxes from a safe distance, and you may just get to see bluebirds in action. Thanks for tuning in to this week's Species Spotlight.